self-portrait because he's chewing through stone. And, and I have a, a, a reputation of chewing through stone. I can chew through stone faster than anybody. <laughs> Statuario, Mark. Statuario. Yeah, so you, you can tell because of the white, and it's just it's transparent. You see? Oh, coming through. Yes. How hard is this to carve? Well, it's relative to the other kinds. On the scale, it's three point five. What does uh, that mean? One being talc, like soft, soft, yes. soft okay. talc, uh -huh. and ten being diamond. Ah. So. Fairly uh, the Marble comes in at 3.5. Huh. Uh, granite is 6. So twice as hard as marble. And you've uh, never really worked in granite because well, it's got all those lines it's, in it? No, it's because it's made out of silica. Uh. Uh, silica is glass. And you get silicosis when you breathe oh. uh, glass. So it's, so it's just a hazard. It's a hazard. Anybody who works granite's got to wear a lot of protection mm. and work with water and, and other t other stuff. Marble is calcium. Uh, so marbles are made from seashells at the bottom of the Mediterranean, and the shells piled up on each other, just like limestone. That's what limestone is too. Yeah. It starts out as limestone. It starts out as seashells, and the weight of the shells over millions of years compresses, 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 compresses and turns first into limestone. So all of Texas is limestone because that all was a sea. All the plains, yes. the Nebraska, Oklahoma, all that used to be an inland sea and, and so there's a layer of limestone underneath it all where the seashells died, critters died and their yes. bones crushed into limestone. But then the mountains got made, and so the limestone was pushed up into the Alpiapuanis, and those mountains are 5,000 feet high, Montaltissimo is 5,000 feet high, just three miles from the beach. This is Italy. Italy. And so three miles from the beach is 5,000 feet. That wall of stone is straight up. So the Atlantic plate hit the European plate like a, and just pushed it right up. And that pressure that it took to uh, make those mountains metamorphosizes the limestone into crystallized calcium. It's now another level of crushed and pushed until it becomes crystallized calcium. Hmm. It's the same thing. It's still bone. It's still shells. But it's... now it's, the shells no longer exist and all you have is the calcium. And that's meta is that a metamorphic process? Metamorphic stone. Yes, okay. Whereas granite is igneous. Yes. It comes out liquid and then hardens. Well, have you ever worked in igneous rock? No. Okay. Just limestone and marble. Just calcium based stones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so and you you get Texas limestone. Yes. What part of Texas is that from? Well it comes it's all over Texas. Ah. I I get some close to Austin. Okay. Because that's where the the I know where that quarry area. is the biggest, yeah. deepest bed of other beds. The bed is only maybe uh, in Kansas. It's only twelve inches deep. Oh, it's all over, but it's only twelve oh. inches deep. In some areas of Texas, as looters, it's it's about uh, a, f mm, a foot and a half, two foot thick. You can get a nicer piece out of that, right? Yeah. But yeah. in in the place north of Austin, it's it's. Eight, 16 feet thick. Oh, huh. And so you can get massive plaques. Uh, and that's what I always am looking for. What's the difference between rock and stone? Well, a rock is usually just something you find on the ground. And a stone is something that is uh, processed that you're going to cut out and you're going to make something up out of it. Um, this, you know, this. Uh, three kinds of stone. You have metamorphic stone, which is marble. It starts out as seashells and metamorphosizes into limestone and then into marble. You have sedimentary, like sandstone, that just sets itself up in layers. 
and then you have igneous that comes out as liquid magma out of the ground, out of volcanoes, and hardens like granite. Basalt. It's a self-portrait because he's chewing through stone. And, uh. and I have a, a, a reputation of chewing through stone. I can chew through stone faster than anybody. <laughs> this, is a, this is Raja de Luna stone from Turkey. And when it came into the studio, we called it leopard stone. So when I got my hands on a piece of it, I was determined to carve a snow leopard. And that this... These stri striations are part of the, I mean, that's just natural yes, occurring. Yes, you see, from, from this point, you're looking at the end of a, of a line, so it looks like a spot. But these are actually going through the stone at an angle. And so over here, you get, you're, you're, you're in line with it, the spot, and so you're seeing it as a line, as a streak. And then you get down here, and, and you get in the ends of the spots, and so it becomes spots again. Is this, uh, did you look at leopard stri uh, no, striping? No. no, you just, that, that's not related no, to no, it at no, all. No. It's just a matter I, of uh, it the. It's leopard stone and yeah, it's that's what it is. Leopard out of yeah, it. <laughs> but it just sort of, there seems to be some sort of a coherence about it, though. Well, it's. That maybe that's just the just mind the working. Stone. I, wish, yeah. I wish I had had a block that was wider from that point. See, I got stripes on the side. Uh, if I had had the block going this way, I would have had on the side all the spots. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and just <laughs> you got to work with what you got. You got to work with what you got. Mm -hmm. And in and anyway, then there would have been stripes on on some other part. Yeah. Of so. Does it have a name? Leopard. Just leopard. <laughs> you know, so I'm always looking at your wrinkles and then I'm looking at your nose and your ears and checking out the plants and. I'm just checking out everything all the time. How's how does the light hit on this? What is what's making that shadow th that shape? Uh, because it all has to go into something someday. Because I draw, I paint, and I sculpt. I do it all. So um, every bit of information is valuable to me. <laughs>